Chris Gazelle on KTRS. I love it because it's trash. Hello, with Dan Strauss with the large morning show in the afternoon here on the Big 550. Hi, Dan. Hi, Hi Dan. JC. Hi, Trish. Time for Trish's trash. Okay, before we start on the gossip, I want to tell you about um, St. Raymond's just one more time. The Lebanese festival is going on this weekend. Saturday night from 6 p.m. to 10, and then Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6. Belly dancers and Lebanese food and desserts. Yeah. I'll Hair be there. Removal. Oh, yeah. not, not really. I'll no. be there in the book booth. So if you come <laughs> by, stop by, say hi. I'll help you uh, pick out your menu items for for the weekend. Okay, so come see me, St. Raymond's, Shoto Tucker, across from Nestle Purina. How right. will people be able to identify you? You're going to be in some. I'll be sort in of... the book booth. Uh, huh? The book booth. The book booth. I don't know what that the means. Book, there's a there's booth books with books, and I'll huh. be in that booth. Okay. Right. The book booth, Dan. Okay. okay. I'll be in black. Right. Right. You're going to be selling kisses? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay. All right. Let's talk about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston. He's finally opening up about what his marriage was like to Jennifer Aniston, which he really has never said much about it before. But he talked to Parade Magazine. It's going to be in this weekend. And he wasn't Who's very buddy? complimentary. Huh? Who's Buddy? Who's Buddy? You said Buddy talked to him. Yeah. But, oh, Buddy he talked to him. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Buddy Epson. Anyway, he talked about his marriage to Jennifer Aniston, kind of, and and explained it like it was a drag. He was bored. He wasn't being himself. He wanted to live a deeper life. I mean, basically, what? just slamming his marriage to Jennifer Aniston. She's minding her own business. Over Why there. didn't he just have her walk around the apartment naked all the time? And that seemed to me would have been enough to hold my attention. Well, he also said that in the 90s he was trying to hide out from celebrity. He said I started to get mm. sick of myself sitting on a couch holding a joint hiding out. Works like, for me, Dan. I think Jennifer's really cute. I like her. I'm You're going her. out on a limb there, huh, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> Great input. Um, the Salahis, the <laughs> White House party crashers. All right, let's review. So they were the White House party crashers. They were on Real Housewives of D.C. She tried to be on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. Is my imagination has she been wearing the same dress in every that public red appearance? One? That red one. Yes. Yeah. So she tries to be on um, da, la, 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 Celebrity Rehab, and Dr. Drew says, "Um, you don't have an addiction. You can't be on the show." She says, "Let me work on it." So now he calls the police the other day and says she's been abducted. Come to find out, she was having an affair with the Journey guitarist Neil Sean. Here's the latest. Oh, he right. is now banned from Journey concerts. There is a huge poster with his face on it. Saying, Neil Sean? No, no. Tariq. Tariq. Oh, Tariq. So, uh, so the guy. So, so He's banned from Journey concerts. Okay. He is now filed, from divor- filed for divorce from her and now says that Neil Sean emailed him a picture. Neil Sean emails Tariq, the guy, a picture of his thingy. Like, of just to rub it in his face, like, I'm doing your wife. Here's a picture of my thingy. That's the latest. What These the reality heck? shows need to move over to, like, uh, the Spice Channel or something like that because this is getting... Uh... All right. And guess who he's turning to for comfort? <sighs> Dr. Uh, Drew. No. Dr. Uh, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. No. Uh, 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 Dr. Do- Ruth. Dr. Oz. Michael Lowen. Dr. <laughs> Michael Lowen. Uh, Lindsay Lowen's dad. Out of, That's... The, out of the pot and into the fire, ladies. <laughs> buddy, buddy. Buddy, buddy. They're buddy, buddies now. Okay, let's move on to Justin Timberlake. Mila Kunis. Her phone has been hacked. We heard that after we heard about Scarlett Johansson's phone being hacked. There were pictures found. One of Justin Timberlake without a shirt on on the bed. One of him with panties on his head. Then there was a picture of just a male thingy. Another one. Is this from the guy from Journey? <laughs> Is it from Brett Favre? <laughs> no, but everyone's saying that. Is it from me? It was Justin. <laughs> and he is now speaking out saying, it's not mine. I never sent a picture to Mila of my thing. Mm-hmm. It's not mine. I don't know how we're going to prove that to be true. But in case you come across it, he's saying it's not I think his. that's a poor choice of words, but that's... <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> JC had this earlier in his entertainment report, but January Jones had a baby boy. Still don't know who the father is. Xander Dane Jones is the baby's name. Yeah, they thought it was Jason Sudeikis because they went out for a while. Yeah. He says no. Why didn't they call him September Jones since he was born in September? Uh, January, September 1 for everybody. Hello, Here. everybody. That was good. Yeah, yeah January, thank You're you. You're killing today, Dan. I know I am. <laughs> More on Towers and Sierras. We heard the story. All right, I, I watched the episode where they had the one girl dressed up as Dolly Parton with 
her shirt yes. stuffed with toilet paper. Her shirt paper, stuffed and her butt stuffed, too. Which was disturbing. How many of us have ever had our butt stuffed? Do you have a show of hands? Or <laughs> then we had... Me? Really? Oh, then, no. <laughs> then we had the kid who was dressed up as Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman as the prostitute. Yeah. And now there is a mom that made her daughter wear a corset. And that is the latest Toddlers and Tiaras controversy. Just mm. to keep you up to date. The show is disturbing. Up all night. Did you watch it? The one with Christina Applegate and Will Arnett? No. Did not. They're going to show it tomorrow night on NBC. Mm. The, a rerun of it because I knew I couldn't watch it because America's Next Top Model was on and Big Brother. So I had to tape it on Saturday Good night. Grief. I wish I had her problem. Just yeah, so you no know. Kidding. So it's on tomorrow night. Christina Applegate, Will Arnett, and now Blythe Danner is joining the show. Gwyneth Paltrow's Gwyneth mom. Paltrow's mom. Yeah. yeah Did you ever see the movie The Great Santini? She's going to play Christina Applegate's mom. It is Robert Duvall. It's one of the greatest movies ever made. I've the great, seen parts The Great of Santini and Blythe Danner is. She's in it. In it. Yeah. Is and she Michael good? O'Keefe, who was the kid in Caddyshack. You know, he's in it, too. It's a very, very good movie. Well, she's now um, going to be on Up All Night. And I really love Christina Applegate, and I love Will Arnett. So I'm really hoping this show is a success. Um, tonight, Bill Maher returns. We have the finale of Karaoke Battle USA, a season premiere of 2020, and a new Dateline. I'm Trish. That's Trish. Yeah, I love Trish. Have a great weekend, everybody.